Good afternoon to all of you. So today with us we have Kanu Priya, who has secured admission at D School, popularly known as Delhi you know, uh, Delhi School of Economics. Right. Welcome, Kanu Priya. Thank you, sir. Okay, Kanu Priya. Uh, let us begin with uh, uh, with your background in particular. Okay. So that students from all the streams coming in, shifting their domains, especially for the masters. So uh, could you just elaborate about your bachelor's? subject college and university sure, so hello everyone uh, i'm kanupriya i did my bachelor's in economics from miranda house university of delhi and i loved maths in 12th also i loved maths in my bachelor's also i had maths as my ge for four semesters okay. so which uh, i think helped me in clearing this entrance as well even though the paper was theoretical but i think maths was the part which most students find difficult but for me i genuinely find maths very easy and very fun to solve so yes maths helped me a lot okay so again uh, another miranda house uh, students doing wonders for not only their college but of course for other point as well great kanupriya so like you mentioned mathematics and one point that you highlighted was ki many students feel maths is a bit tough theek hai and that's very very honestly true ki many students do have that fear that sense of fear when it comes to maths but having said that ki this year the the cut paper in particular wasn't that quant heavy and uh, accordingly more or less theoretical okay so how how did you uh, manage be between the two what was your approach because when we prepared the syllabus when we prepared the curriculum and everything so we tried to have both the mix like theoretical approach in case if it comes out and practical quantitative approach solely because igdr also joined cuet so we also thought ki ha shayad quantitative heavy questions aayenge so what was your approach was it a balanced one and how how exactly was it so i started preparing for cut in july like i decided i'll give cut in last july and i started revising my grad syllabus okay. so after that in january when i attempted uh, i didn't open my cut previous year till january which i think was a big mistake in january when i opened cut paper i, I saw that it was mostly theoretical and most of the questions i couldn't answer it is in our grad we aren't taught ki uh, who wrote this book and who was the author and everything so then i joined your course which was cut pg and then i covered mostly theoretical part and one thing which i figured out by attempting your mock series and even test that even though i have done advanced version i was still lacking in basic concepts so i ma i watched mams videos on the ba whole basic course which helped me revise my concepts and then i also read hl ahuja for more understanding and which helped me in theoretical part i used to solve net previous year papers as well and this was i was actually very confused between ki what should i do should i focus more on theory or should i focus more on numericals but i think if you understand the concept well you can answer both so i think you should just uh, study the concept pura acche se and then you can answer and artha point has so many videos on various topics on youtube as well which uh, helped me as well okay oh. so like every time we we tell even uh, when we had a word with you as well or any other students we tell that the importance of basic concept is key to any paper chahe wo bahut easy ho chahe wo bahut tough ho if your basics are not strong you will not be able to pull off a higher degree of questions for sure great great kanupriya okay so uh, what what post your uh, masters what are your plans exactly uh, i haven't decided yet but i was thinking to in to going for go government jobs only uh, i think i won't go into corporate but i have heard ki if you get into dsc then you might uh, make plans to go into corporate so i'm just exploring a bit ke liye but i know for sure ki masters to karni hi hai correct correct great so now that you have opportunity at d school right so there can't be a better platform for you to, to kick start your career chahe wo corporate mein ho ya government sector mein ho so right so uh, kanupriya you also mentioned about jnu right and you are right on the edge when it comes to jnu correct so any any particular reason for that like usually when someone wishes to go for research work phd or even the civils ideally those student have priority towards jnu 
and in your case you have a quant heavy strong subject okay you are strong with quant as well so uh, it, it's very tough to understand your preference initially to go for jnu because dsc is the one that suits your profile rightly so what was the reason for jnu uh for jnu i was uh, for dsc actually i was actually scared that dsc has the dominance of corporate culture which i might not yes. fit in and uh, i want to go for either for research or for government services like ies upsc so yes. i thought jnu will help me more uh, in preparing for those also you get more time in jnu to study for these subjects so yes that's why i was thinking of going to jnu okay amazing ठीक है दैट्स दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी वैलिड रीजन एंड द रैशनल बिहाइंड डिसाइडिंग बिटवीन द टू इंस्टीट्यूशन इज दैट ओनली व्हिच यू जस्ट हाइलाइटेड ओके सो कनुप्रिया एनीथिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर नाउ अबाउट टू स्टार्ट इन पर्टिकुलर एनी स्ट्रेटजी एनी फॉर्मूलेशन दैट यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद देम एंड दे कैन कैरी ऑन विद दैट अप्रोच यस सो प्लीज गो थ्रू योर सिलेबस अच्छे से मेक श्योर कि आपको पता है कि कौन से टॉपिक्स हैं सिलेबस में and so that you don't miss out on any topic and one thing i feel is which is very important is please identify your weak spots whenever you uh, revise your syllabus you should know which area you need to work hard on because in my case what i did was uh, i was actually a weak in open economy so i kept on postponing it till the exam ke isko baad mein kar lenge kar lenge and even if exam mein bhi jo mere questions galat hue the mostly open economy se hi hue hain okay. so please uh, identify your weak spots so that unko tum pehle se hi cover kar lo and one major thing you have to keep in mind is ki don't panic in exam uh, because sometimes you have studied pura saal but you panic in exam and it's just 90 minutes and uh, you have to you will regret it later so don't panic stay calm calmly answer karoge to अच्छे से हो जाएगा बिकॉज एग्जाम्स में बहुत सारे कंसेप्ट्स ऐसे थे जो मैंने भी नहीं पढ़े थे पहले बट सिंस आई वाज काम आई वाज एबल आई ट्राइड टू थ्री टाइम्स दैट क्वेश्चन एंड इट वाज सॉल्व्ड सो यस प्लीज डोंट पैनिक ग्रेट या एक्चुअली एंड इट हैपेंस एट टाइम्स कि सर्टेन थिंग्स आर नॉट इन योर हैंड जब आप एग्जामिनेशन हॉल में जाते हो सो यू हैव टू बी बिट पॉजिटिव काम तब जैसे आपने कहा एग्जैक्टली यू वर एबल टू सॉल्व सर्टेन क्वेश्चंस which were not directly uh, you might not have just clicked correct okay okay great great okay kanupriya uh, so i know the 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 transition uh, is now having from bachelors to masters correct so uh, how how is the excitement or uh, is there any sort of fear like you must have already talked to some of your seniors uh, about not only d school its curriculum its approach and everything so how is the feeling right now so uh, firstly i was bit scared but now i am excited after talking to my seniors they have said ki you have you will have a lot of opportunities and it's exciting to study the hardcore economics because uh, bachelors was also fun like we the schedule was very hectic for us especially in second year when we had five subjects along with practicals and everything and i had uh, the dscs which i had in final year was quite difficult so it was hectic but we are excited to study uh, hardcore economics okay so one final question kanupriya because this is something i know students every year have this uh, concern ki again your semester exams will come in the month of december january depending upon the university and that is the peak time especially because iit jam and gate is just around the corner so what was your strategy in terms of handling that particular phase uh, because i have asked all of your colleagues batchmates as well about their approach and each and every individual have a different approach what was your approach during that important time so i mostly focused on my entrance exams i started uh, like in semester 5 we had our entrance from 26th to 27 december Sorry. and i i legit started studying from uh, 7th to 8 december so oh. uh, you can cover the subjects like core papers are indian economy and development only you can study them in 3 to 4 days you can do past years acche se and please choose your dscs uh, accordingly ki if you think ki you can do difficult subjects ah. again if you i had taken public economics and international trade so but that the subjects helped me in cuet and other exams as well so if you think you can do that you should choose those otherwise you can go for easier dscs which you can easily pass by studying 2 to 3 days okay okay 
I guess uh, this this answer will definitely help. Even your batchmates have also answered it very well. And at the end of the day, it differs from individual to individual. But one key essence is you have to choose your electives very, very proactively and very carefully as well. Okay, great, great, Kanupriya. So uh, with this, I'll just say thank you so much for your time for taking out time and sharing your experience with not only us, with all your, let's say, juniors, peers, and of course, the future aspirants. Uh, thank you so much, Priya, Kanupriya, and we wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors. And like with all our students, the equation is very same. If there's anything you want us, any help from us, just drop us a WhatsApp or a call, and you, are, you know that all of us are right there to help you. Thank you so much, Kanupriya. Thank you so much, sir, for having me here. And thank you so much, Artha Point, for guiding me in my uh, entrance preparation. And uh, I hope uh, you will, I know you will keep guiding me in my master's as well. Uh, I remember ma'am used to answer our doubts at 3 a.m. as well. So, yes, uh, thank you so much. And I hope it will help the juniors as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.